an appetizer recipe for your next party? I'm Michelle from Cup of Zest and I totally get it. You want something that's easy to make, that you can make ahead of time, and super delicious. I've got you covered with my easy white cheddar prosciutto pinwheel recipe and you're gonna love it. Today's retro recipe comes from this recipe pamphlet. It's Good Housekeeping's Company Meals and Buffets. It was published in 1958 and it's full of fantastic party food ideas. I love a good appetizer, so uh, let's get started because I wanna eat it. This recipe is super easy. We're gonna start with a bunch of chives. We're just gonna chop it up really finely. All right, into our mixing bowl, these guys go. I get them all in there. Now we're just gonna mix a couple ingredients in with these chives and we'll be good to go. So we've got eight ounces of cream cheese. This cream cheese is super soft. I've left it at room temperature for a couple hours, um, which is totally fine, and it's just gonna help mix everything together really easily. And we have three cups of cheddar cheese. This is a sharp white cheddar. It's delicious. Put it all in there. And we have two teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper. I love black pepper. It's gonna make this a little spicy in a delicious way. About a half teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is gonna add to the brightness of the recipe as well. And now let's just go ahead and mix this all together. That cream cheese is super soft, so it's gonna incorporate really well with the rest of the ingredients. Just kinda mash it all around. Those chives are so pretty. This cheese mixture is so good. I'm just gonna give a little taste. It's pretty perfect. All right, next we're going to place this mixture onto our puff pastry. So this is some frozen puff pastry, I just thought it. And this stuff is fantastic because you can leave it in your freezer and anytime you need it, you know, just to frost it and there you have it. So half of our cheese mixture is gonna go on this piece of puff pastry. Just plop it on there. Make sure, a little bit more. Yes. All right, and then I like to use a little offset spatula. Just spread it around evenly. One beautiful, even, cheesy goodness layer. All right, and next is the prosciutto. I love prosciutto. We're gonna put half of this package right on top of our cheese layer. I just kinda like to pick it up like this and plop it down and then pull off that paper. Oh, come on, little guy. Don't waste any prosciutto on the packaging. Gosh, I love prosciutto. It's gonna be so great in these little pinwheels. All right, we are almost ready. We're gonna go ahead and roll this baby up and then slice it. So let's start on one end and just make it nice little spiral, little roll up here. Beautiful. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut it. You wanna get 12 pieces out of this little pinwheel log. I like to use a serrated knife and I like to cut it in half first. And then you wanna do about one inch pieces. All right, so our pinwheels are almost ready to go. I'm gonna reshape them a little bit because, you know, they're not super round right now. So just give them a nice little, little zhuzh and place them onto your parchment lined baking sheet. This one's really ugly, but you know what? It's still gonna taste delicious. So that doesn't bother me. Now we're gonna repeat the steps with the remaining ingredients and then they're gonna go in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and throw these in the fridge and get started on the second batch. Our pinwheels have chilled and now they're ready to go in the oven at 350 degrees until they are nice and golden brown, which will take about 35 minutes. All right, look at our white cheddar prosciutto pinwheels. They are golden, they are flaky, crispy. I'm going to eat this guy because why not? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is what dreams are made of. It's fantastic. 
the lemon adds a really nice brightness to it along with the chives. It's a little salty, it's a little peppery. It's a fantastic appetizer. Mm. Mm hmm These white cheddar prosciutto pinwheels are amazing. I hope I solved your dilemma, and if you make them, let me know how you liked them in the comments below. Also, if you want more retro party food ideas, subscribe. <laughs>